श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत तव कथामृत तप्त जीवन कविभिरीडित कलमशापहम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदादत भुवि गृणंत्ये भुरीदा जना श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत प्रथम भाग चतुर्थ खंडो पंचम परिच्छेद एंड वी स्टार्ट द फिफ्थ चैप्टर ऑफ दिस फोर्थ सेक्शन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गॉस्पेल ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण इन बेकॉली and this is uh, the, the meeting uh, with uh, vijay krishna goswami and other uh, close devotees like uh, balram basu shri am and a few other brahmo devotees this is uh, on the 14th of december the thursday it is continuing this is the day when there is not rush uh, no, no 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 major rush no major visitors because it is a working day so these people who are very close to shri ramakrishna who are very uh, in 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 the real sense they want to get his teachings so on a working day they have come so that there is no rush there is no crowd only these few devotees and shri ramakrishna it is one to one talk it is a, a total dedicated time for shri ramakrishna and that's how they have come and uh, during the talk uh, uh, now it has come up that vijay krishna goswami has indicated uh, you know he is uh, uh, current state of affairs that since he has taken a salary job at the brahmo samaj of being a preacher he is not able to come and uh, in the course of that talk several other uh, you know uh, topics came up and shri ram krishna has uh, addressed from first till fourth chapters of how uh, you know uh, how, how one becomes a slave uh, get, gets into the position of being a slave to one one's work of working for a master for the sake of lust and greed finally uh, in the previous chapter that uh, when uh, shri m had asked him a question that if, if lust is the reason for all this uh, you know downfall of a person so called downfall of a person because then a person can never focus on what he really wants now what a person really wants he really wants to spend time for the god but that doesn't happen when you take up a service when you take up a job then you have to work for somebody then you have you can't get time as much as you want to spend on the spiritual matters and shri ram krishna indicated that this is mainly because of lust and greed and then shri m has asked him a question that is it does it mean that we should start hating women if lust is the reason and shri ram krishna says no 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 that is not a thing he says that first have god realization then be in the world and then this temptation of lust can never be of any danger to you you you, you don't have to fear about lust then because then you don't look at women as women you look at woman as the manifestation of divine mother and then there is no attachment there is no attraction from the perspective of lust it is only then reverence then you even you will start worshiping women folk once you have understood that a woman is the manifestation and then shri ram krishna at towards the end uh, of the fourth chapter he had told vijay that keep coming keep coming hmm tumi majhe majhe ashbe keep coming now and then tumake dekhte boru ichcha kare i love to see you i love to meet you i love to spend time with you so much i wish to spend time with you so that is where we had ended the fourth chapter and now in the fifth chapter Uh, Vijay starts the conversation saying he is addressing in fact he is replying to Sri Ram Krishna's comment at the end of the fourth chapter so Vijay says brahmo samajer kaaj korte hoye 
তাই সদা সর্বদা আসতে পারি না সুবিধা হলে আসবো বিজয় কৃষ্ণ গোস্বামী সে সিন্স নাও আই এম a paid servant a paid employee of the brahmo samaj i can't come as and when i feel like coming hmm? that uh, uh, i i can't come uh, whenever i wish like hmm suvidha hole ashbo so whenever it is convenient whenever it is possible i will definitely keep coming and then Sri Ramakrishna says, uh, uh, starts talking about the, his role in the, the work that he is doing at Brahma Sumat. Now he is a salaried preacher. Sri Ramakrishna now addresses on that particular point. That Sri Ramakrishna Vijayar Prati. Dekho, Achar Jor Kaj Bodo Kothin. ঈশ্বরের সাক্ষাৎ আদেশ ব্যতিরেকে লোক শিক্ষা দেওয়া যায় না ঈশ্বরের সাক্ষাৎ আদেশ ব্যতি রেখে আনলেস ইউ রিসিভ কমান্ড উইদাউট দ্য ডাইরেক্ট কমান্ড ফ্রম দ্য গড ইউ ক্যানট টিচ পিপল ইট ইস এক্সট্রিমলি ডিফিকাল্ট টু টিচ পিপল উইদাউট রিসিভিং কমান্ড ফ্রম দ্য গড উইদাউট রিসিভিং এ ডাইরেক্ট অর্ডার ফ্রম দ্য গড দ্যাট ইয়েস নাও ইউ স্টার্ট প্রিচিং now you start teaching jodi adesh na pe updesh dao loke shunbe na shri ram krishna says if without receiving command you start teaching the people on the spiritual matters on the religious front nobody will listen to it it will just enter here it will come out here nothing will remain inside because people won't pay attention she updesher kono shakti noy there is no power in that teaching which you give without receiving the command from the god age sadhan kore ba je kono rupe hok ishpur lab korte hoy before uh, starting your preaching somehow by me by 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 way of austerities or by any other means first you realize the god come what me you first realize the god and tar adesh pe lecture dite hobe tar adesh pe lecture dite hoy only when once you receive his command command of the god command of the divine mother only then one can teach then shri ram krishna once again gives the same example that he had given earlier about the haldar pukur how people were making that bank of uh, the pond haldar pukur so dirty hmm. so shri ram krishna is once again he you see the the thing is one has to emphasize one has to reiterate the teaching and unless and until the uh, the, the content really enters the student's brain it won't have any impact it won't have any effect so like uh, the, the 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 blacksmith hmm, he keeps on hammering the uh, pot that uh, iron pot that he is going to fabricate he keeps on hammering with the hammer till it gets a smooth polish till it gets a desired shape likewise shri ram krishna again and again keeps on hammering maybe the same examples to make you understand the importance of that teaching and shri ram krishna now 
once again gives uh, that same uh, talks about that same happening uh, earlier uh, uh, you know uh, uh, during, during his stay at kamarpukur o deshe ekti pukur ache naam haldar pukur Sri Ramakrishna says, in my village, in that village, oh, they say, in that village, in my village, there is one pond. Name of that pond is Haldar Pukur. Tar pade roj lok bajje kore raktu. On the bank of that pond, people used to come and defecate every morning and create all the filth on the bank of that pond. Shokale jara ghate ashto tara tader gala gali diye khub gol pal korto. And every day people, uh, when, when people, uh, other people used to come to the bank in the morning, come to the pond, hmm, seeing all that dirt and uh, filth, hmm, they, 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 there used to be a lot of fight, verbal fight and galagali. Hmm, they used to abuse. Oh, who are all these people doing this and making the bank of the pond so dirty? We can't even walk properly. We can't fetch water for drinking from this pond. We can't fetch water for cleaning our utensils. They have made everything so dirty. Every every day, people. I mean, they, there used to be shouting and there used to be abusing with uh, foul language and overall great fuss every day morning. Galagali kon kaj hotuna. And with that nuisance, uh, I mean, there, there was no end to it. <coughs> Abar Tarpur din Padeti Bajji again next day the same thing. Hmm? They will shout full day, they will keep on abusing and uh, shouting, but to no effect. Next morning, again the same thing. People used to go and uh, you know defecate on that bank and make the place dirty and filthy. So there was no end to it. Then finally what happened? Sheshe, ultimately, Kompanir Choprashi Eshe Notish Tangye Dile Je Ekhane Keu Oru Kaj Korte Parbena Jodi Kore Shasti Hobe. And finally what happened? People... You see, every day there were fights, but there was no end to it. I mean, there was no benefit out of it. Nobody stopped defecating at the bank of Haldar Pukur. It went on day in and day out. Finally, people made a complaint to the company, the East India Company, which was ruling uh, the, the Calcutta province that time. They made and submitted a complaint to the officer at East India Company. Come. Then, Sheshe, finally what happened? Company Choprashi. Sheshe, notish tangye dile. Then, a pune, representative of the East India Company, he came and he affixed a notice at the pond. Hmm, what was that notice? Ekhane keu oru kaj korte parbina. He said that notice said, stop defiling the bank, stop making the filth uh, defecating on the bank of this pond. Jodi kore shasti hobe. If anybody defiles the bank, it makes the place filthy and dirty. Suitable action will be taken against that person. And a notice here poor RQ Padi Bajju Kurtena. RQ Padi Bajju Kurtena. And after that notice was put, because that was a command from the company, command from East India Company. Nobody will defecate here, nobody will defile the place, nobody will 
make this place dirty and filthy. If anyone does, suitable action will be taken. And from that instance, hmm, people stopped defecating on the bank of Haldar Pukur. That was the effect of the order, the command from East India Company. And therefore, Sri Ramakrishna says, likewise, one should have command from God to teach. Otherwise, that, that teaching without command from God has no value. It has no power. That people will never listen to it. And uh, so, Sri, Sri Ramakrishna, uh, for, for all the teachers, he had this request. He has this teaching that first attain to God. First, get a command from him. First, you first, you yourself realize what is the ultimate truth. And then you start teaching people. Only then that teaching will have some effect. Only then people will listen to you at least. Now, Shri, see, 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 see the power and strength in Sri Ramakrishna's teachings. This teaching he has given on 18th December 1882. M had jotted a note of it and then M brought it out in the form of Sri Sri Ram Krishna Kothamrutho and then finally we read this teaching in the Pratham Bhag Chaturtha Khondo Pancham Ched and now it will enter our mind. Now we can actually learn from this teaching because Sri Ramakrishna had realized the God. And why only realize? Sri Ramakrishna was God incarnate. So it is the God's word. So in spite of all, more than a century over, hmm, the teaching has still got that relevance. The teaching is still so very live that again and again we love to hear that teaching. We love to hear the teachings of Sri Ramakrishna. Again and again we love to read the gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. We love to read Sri Ram, Sri, Sri Ramakrishna Kathamrata. That is the power. That is the strength. One, uh, one's teachings get when one start teaching after realizing God. So that is uh, for now uh, from this fifth chapter of the starting. Uh, we will continue the fifth chapter reading from the fifth chapter in our next reading. As of now, Om Namah Shri Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya Shri Ramakrishnar Panamastu Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji